Alright guys, I uh, here with a Newman motor update. Got some inter interesting stuff I want to share with you. Um, first let me show you my setup here. Pretty simple really. I got uh, this shaft here is from a, a computer printer and then the bearings are from skateboard wheels just screwed down to a piece of wood, plywood and uh, I got it running off of my battery from my drill and as far as the magnets go here's an interesting little setup for you to even the, bear even the uh, magnets out on the shaft all I did was I got a piece of tubing that fit the inner diameter of my magnets I got the magnets at uh, Pakatan's craft center the magnets fit right inside the tube then you just drill a hole you just drill a hole through the center of the tube and then slide that hole through the shaft then all you gotta do is slip your magnets in and it keeps them perfectly even on each side and then uh, just for safety sake I wrapped mine in duct tape there make it a is for safety so they don't go flying out and then uh, the interesting thing I want to interesting thing I want to share with you guys today is that I found out you don't need a top coil for one because it's firing on I had two coils top a lower and a top and a bottom like so and then I found out you don't need this top coil because it's only firing once on the bottom so all this is is PVC magnet wire wrapped around it okay Here's the interesting thing I want to show you guys. Okay. Okay. This sucker will, will go very fast. And as ray of energy just said that it's all an adjustment of the commutator for the speed you know the timing like an engine okay here's the interesting part chuck tuna chuck tuna maybe you can help me out man okay what i have here is just uh, an led uh... led f light there's no batteries connected to it. All it is is uh let's see if I can get a better shot of this. Here is a coil with magnet wire. It's just a toilet paper roll. Toilet paper roll with some magnet wire wrapped around it. No iron core. And then the uh connected to the LED light no batteries in it or nothing the interesting thing is when you move this coil I'm going to try and get this in one shot if you move this coil
see that. Now, mind you, it's not even connected. It's I'm just I'm just sliding it over to next to the other coil. If I can line it up here so you can see the light. Watch this. Just slide it away. It turns off. Put it anywhere near it turns on and it blinks at the same freak at the same time the commutator turns on so it only works when the commutator ha or when that coil has electricity flowing through it similar to a transformer if I turn it off see no blinking you can spin this all day long and it won't blink as soon as you turn the juice on Now, interesting enough, interesting enough, if you put this coil inside of the other coil, like so, just slip it in there and then, and then put it back, it is so bright, I mean, I'm measuring like almost seven volts coming off just this little tiny wrapping coil I mean this LED light alone needs six volts just to run so let's see it now with it inside that coil I mean look at that So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know this has got to mean something because the only iron I have here is the shaft and it's not even it's stainless steel so is this is this uh, radiant energy or what the hell is this just thought I wanted to uh, share this with you guys all right take care